hands are already prepared. I don't want to waste much time on this altar. We thank God for what God has begun doing already. We also thank God for what God did in the life of Bishop Ednos Brookman's life, in our life through in our life through Bishop Ednos Brookman on Wednesday morning, Thursday, and tonight we are here for the third night. Listen, as I told you yesterday, open up yourself and receive. And I know God will do something powerful. I have been with him for years. I have gotten the opportunity to serve him, not as a brother, but as a son. And my life has never been the same. Are you understanding me? And it's a great opportunity for you to also tap into the same grace. Last year, I gave you a lot of testimonies about him. If we want to talk about him, we'll be, we'll be on and on and on till morning. But the only thing I want to tell you is that whatever he tells you to do, do it. If he asks you to clap your hands, clap your hands. If he asks you to shout, shout. Let us do it there night of restoration way where we are open until morning are we communicating it's a father to me and we want to tap into the creation of his life let's listen, listen to his profile and then the next voice you hear is our father bishop Edwin Ewisi Brookman bishop Edwin Ewisi Brookman he is the founder and general overseer of the Rima Cavalry Center, RCC, the CEO of Rima TV and of the Wusi Brookman Ministry. He is one of the pioneers of the prophetic move in Ghana as God started using him in the office of the prophet since the early 90s. His ministry has always been unique. Countless unusual instant miracles have occurred in his meetings around the world, backed by precise and never seen before operation of the prophetic office under the guidance of the Holy Spirit and the unique gift of healing. Bishop Edwin Ewusi Brookman is among the true apostles of our time, having the grace to break ground for the kingdom all over the world. His international ministry spans countries such as France, Spain, Germany, Italy, South Africa, Ivory Coast, Togo, Benin, Congo, just to name a few. Bishop Edwin Ewusi Brookman is a worshipper and a seasoned author, having several books and music albums under his belt. He has a unique bond with the Reverend Emmanuel Ajay since he personally led him to Christ fathered him for over 20 years in ministry and imparted the prophetic grace upon him. He's married to Mrs. Sabina Brookman and they live in Ghana with their sons Junior and Zadok. Ladies and gentlemen, with a clap of rain, Come on. Let's do the prayer, let's clap your hands, for you. Somebody shout yeah Would you put your hands together and give Jesus glory in the house <laughs> Hallelujah Somebody said the other day when we clap in church we slap witches So I would like you to clap And give the Lord your craziest shout You are shouting, you are taking divine favor, breakthroughs, openings, and miracles. Hallelujah. Uh, this morning, if you don't live here blessed, I don't know when you'll be blessed again. Because the atmosphere is already conditioned for it. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Ten to seven people around you and tell them you look good. 
All right, sit on the heads of your enemies, amen. Hallelujah. It's going to be a very long ride. And I promise your lives will never be the same. God bless all the the the, the, the minstrels. Ohima Messi, amen. Very powerful musician. My prophet just told me she comes from my village, Abakampa. I was like, really? Wow. Gifts from a small village. Amen. Let's clap for her. She's so powerful. God bless her. And then Minister Kofa. Very powerful. Amen. God bless you. That was very spot on. God bless you so much. Amen. And then I came with um, a couple of sons. I see a prophet, um, Joel Wood. Please stand. Let's acknowledge him. Amen. And I see prophet and Mrs. Alija at the back there. Please stand. Wave. Amen. Wonderful people. And then my team. Amen. All the team I came with. Could you please stand so we can acknowledge you? Thank you very much. Yeah. God bless all of them. Amen. Thank you so much. If you see us doing all this, it's not because we are too special. It's because of the people around us. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I came with a couple of books. Um, I have in my hands one of my books, The Force of Expectation. Um, I tell Christians I won't sell you water, but I'll sell you a book. And the Bible enjoins us to buy the truth and sell it not. Hallelujah. Um, your expectation is a force. Um, your expectation is a force. Recently, some um, um, doctors um, did an experiment and took two rats and put both of them in two barrels full of water. Now, one of the barrels was covered and the other one was opened. And these rats were in both barrels. When they came the next day, the one in the barrel <clears throat> that was full of water but totally covered was dead <clears throat> sorry and then they left it and then the next seven days they came back the other one that was in the barrel full of water but opened was still inside died i think on the seventh day and the conclusion of the experiment was that people who who have an expectation because they saw that the rat in the barrel full of water that was opened saw rays of light beaming through the barrel and felt someone was coming to take it out or someone was coming to rescue it so because of the expectation that someone was coming it was able to stay in there a little longer than the one that didn't have any hope so the conclusion was that people who have hope they live longer than those who don't have hope all right i've been preaching for 33 years and i'm still young I don't grow old, I grow young. Because I always have an expectation that something good will certainly happen to me. In Acts chapter 3, the Bible talks about the lame man at the gate called beautiful. Sitting in the gate called beautiful, yet experiencing nothing beautiful. Then he saw these great apostles coming. In fact, he had been in the temple all these years, saw them raising funds. Peter raised funds in the church till two people died. Hello? And this man was around the temple area, saw everything that was happening. So, when he saw Peter coming, he begged him for arms, expecting that, at least I've seen you raised money to the extent that every church member, the Bible says, didn't lack. Now, if you're a pastor of a church where nobody lacked, that tells you that the pastor certainly is highly blessed. And this man requested they give him money. And all Peter was to tell this man was that silver and gold I don't have. Hello? Now, honestly, if this beggar was to be a Ghanaian beggar, he would have said, if you don't have it, get out of here. Let me look for a different client. 
What you understand what I'm saying? But the Bible says that the man still looked at them, ex expecting to receive something from them. So I realize that even when life has been unfair to you, you still have to stay focused and consistent and expectant until something good happens to you. The expectation of the righteous shall never be cut off. You need it. It's only 20 cities. And then this one, I'm shaped for significance. I'm shaped for ministry. I just don't know what else I, 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 I could have done in this life for that this call on my life. If you give me a bank, by the time you come, everybody will be converted. I'm carved for this. And everybody here is carved, particularly for an assignment and mandate. You will have it here, 25 cities. And then um, Rima capsules, and then Rima prayer bullets. If you have 60 cities, you can just get them, and then you feed on them. And you're also supporting my ministry. And I think my ministry is worth supporting. Hallelujah. And when you do that, God will bless you. Can we clap for Jesus? Um, you can have some other. I think um, at the stands of the service, and then maybe Sunday evening I'll sit down after the preaching and autograph for a couple of people before I go. Amen. All right. Can I preach now? Can we clap for the prophet? Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. You don't know how I'm laughing. <laughs> Amen. I know why. Amen. I remember when we're young he'll be on the bed asleep whilst i'll be praying and he'll turn and say brah hey did he? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, every night i'll hold his leg and i'll say i claim your soul for jesus i claim you for jesus i break every curse on our family that wants to let you sleep <laughs> And look at him today. Aren't we glad what God has done? <laughs> Hallelujah. This is what God can do. I remember once I fasted and I said, Father, whether he likes it or because he was an IT guy and he loves seeing this IT stuff. And I said, Father, whether he likes it or not, he must be a prophet. I claim him, I break him, I conquer, I overpower him. I <laughs> and, and, and I'm happy. Hallelujah. Let's clap for God's goodness. This is Act chapter 2. Act chapter 12. Act chapter 12. From the verse number 1. Act chapter 12. From the verse number 1. Act 12. From the verse number 1. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched out his hand to harass some from the church. Anyone assigned by hell to harass you 2019, I pray that that which will catch fire seven times. No weapon against you shall prosper. Every tongue that will rise in judgment against you by the efficacy of the blood of the eternal covenant will render their plots inefficient. And I declare over your life you will not die you will live to declare the works of God. Can you clap and shout a resounding amen? amen? Then Herod killed James, the brother of John, with a sword. And because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to seize Peter also. Anybody who gets excited when something bad happens to you, I pray that that bad thing will be multiplied seven times. And it shall be given to the person in Jesus' name. But now somebody saying this pastor is very wicked. No, 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 it's biblical. The Bible says that he that digs a pit for his neighbor falls in the pit himself. And he that throws a stone at his neighbor, the same stone shall be reversed back to him. And so anybody excited you fail. I pray that this time around you will escape that trap and they will go in your stead. If you believe it, clap them hands and shout yes. Then he killed James, the brother of John, with a sword. And because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to seize Peter also. Now it was during the days of unleavened bread. So when he had arrested him, he put him in a prison and delivered him to four squads of soldiers to keep him, intending to bring him before the people after Passover. Verse 5. 
Peter was there, kept in prison, but constant prayer, say constant prayer, was offered to God for him by the church. And when Herod was about to bring him out that night, Peter was sleeping, bound up with two chains between two soldiers and the guards before the door were keeping the prison. Now behold, an angel of the Lord stood by him and a light shone in the prison and struck Peter on the side and, 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 and raised him up saying, Arise quickly. And his chains fell off his hands. Then the angel said to him, Get yourself and tie on your sandals. It's so sad that when I see churches who don't allow people to wear shoes. Hello? Then they will tell you that, well, God told Moses in the old covenant that where he stood was a holy ground. It's Ghana holy ground. Man, God loves shoes. In the Old Testament, he told him to remove his sandals. In the New Testament, that New Testament, he told the man, put on your sandals. It's, it's not wrong to have some good shoes, man. You see, we should be homiletically balanced when we are interpreting scriptures. Scriptures must be interpreted in the light of other scriptures. You don't take one scripture and build a doctrine around it. That's crazy. The same God who in one vein said, remove your shoes. Moses now is telling another man, put on your shoes. That tells you God is not against shoes. So next when they invite you to anywhere and they tell you, remove your shoes, tell them, excuse me, can I put it on? Can I continue? And when Peter had come, what are we, verse 9. So he went out and followed the angel and did not know that what was done by the angel was real. But thought he was seeing a vision. Adibi besua brabom desmanta ebesa dasu. When they were past the first and the second guard post, they came to the iron gate that leads to the city which opened to them of its own accord if the bible is just underlined it the gates opened to them of its own accord and they went out and went down on one street and immediately the angel departed from him and when peter had come to himself he said now i know for certain that the lord has sent his angel and has delivered me from the hand of herod and from all the expectations of the jewish people so when he had considered this he came to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose surname was Mark, where many were gathered together praying. And as Peter knocked at the door of the gate, a girl named Rhoda came to answer. And when she recognized Peter's voice, because of her gladness, she did not open the gate, but ran in and announced that Peter stood before the gate. But they said to her, you are beside yourself, which means you are crazy. Yet she kept insisting that it was so. So they said, it is his angel. Father, anoint me to preach your mind in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody clap and shout, amen. I'm preaching within the next 30 minutes on a subject I've titled, Supernatural Openings. Um, I had a message to preach tonight, but around 9 p.m. was brooding over the scriptures and, and just pondering over the scriptures it became strong on me and i had a vision and i saw it was a mini vision i saw doors opening <laughs> doors and i asked god what is this and god told me go tell them that every door shut within 14 days Wait, um, sit down, I, I, I will shout, but let me say this. Somewhere some 23, 24 years ago in Takradi, I was having a crusade, a program at the Princess Cinema, and we had all the big shots. I mean, anybody who mattered was there in Takradi. I was ministering under the unction, and I said, I see Western region called Oil City. When I said that, at that time, Reverend um, Bishop of Ochimish of Blessed Memory, um, Holy Fire, 
was sitting in front, and Mr. Butcher was sitting. And so, unfortunately, she held my colleague and said, hey, We see, hey, we see, hey, we see. Takwa Day is bauxite and gold. <laughs> and I said, This is what I see. I see oil. Years after, Western Region is known as the oil city. <laughs> now, by this same oil, I declare that within 14 days, some doors that are closed are open in the name of Jesus. If you shouted, may your doors open by fire. S sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Now because of the kind of doors God is about open, let me just quickly brush through something that will come to the main thing. Um, doors are open for short periods. And for security purposes. But windows are open for a longer period of time. Which means that the doors that are about to open within the next 14 days, you have to be so smart in the spirit to fathom which door that has been opened when, for who, to be able to access. Because doors are open for short periods. But, but I'm close. So if it's open and you are standing at Kimbo, watching the door asking yourself mumu is it mine or not it will close on you and you can never have access but a prophesy speed on you that when the doors open you'll be able to access them if you believe it stand up clap and shout like your voice is yours sit down let's run through it and all night i don't want to preach too much Three strong things we saw from the story. The first thing we saw from the story was that you could have supernatural encounters by angels coming to take you out of some doors. But still, you still have to understand that in this life, with all the supernatural encounters you will have, you still must understand that here on earth, you must relate well with human beings because after the angel had taken him through the doors and all the gates were open supernaturally for him the bible said when he got to where the prayer was going on he knocked the door expecting some people inside to open and a maid seven called Rhoda decided not to open the door and she went and told the people and Peter although had seen angelic manifestations by causing doors to open but this time round he needed a human being to open the door for him and i'm like where was the angel when rhoda was delayed couldn't the angel have come back to open this door god said to me there are some doors he will open but there are some doors man will open that's why you must learn how to respond to an email that's why you must learn how to whatsapp a friend that's why you must learn how to bust somebody because yes god will do it but there are something god will use men but he will talk to you through human beings see and i think that nonsense happening in ghana has to cease where it's like every pastor is bad every pastor is demon every pastor is occultic the fact that there are counterfeit dollars does not stop us from spending some good ones. I know you won't clap. I didn't come for your clap. I came to tell you what God said. Let's learn to relate well with one another. Holy amalgamation, the bond of peace and oneness, unity in the spirit. I love you not because of who you are. I love you because Christ says I should love you. For so fulfill the law of Christ. Am I communicating? Yes. Charlie, everybody needs a somebody. Yes. Share. Peter, the Bible says that and the onion gates opened by its own accord. 
supernatural opening power. But he got to another gate, and this time Denji wasn't there to open it. So I realized that, Charlie, human beings can open some doors. If you be smart, you will know that all the answers you need is enshrined in somebody sitting just close to you. And all you have to do to unlock it is just to smile. If you don't clap, you're a suspect. Half of your neighbor tell the person I need ya. Can I continue? Yes. The second thing I saw from the story is that we have to learn to be restful. The French will say, Kamevu, Nespa. Ah? Kamevu. Ah? Sasa no? Kamevu. Sweat tranquil dans ton esprit. Ça veut dire que reste tranquille, quoi. Tell your friend, relax, relax, relax. See, they were going to kill him the next day, and he was comfortably asleep in a comfortable lead. Oh, sorry, very as comfortably asleep. Now, if you take time to read the story contextually. He had removed his clothes because the angel told him to put on his clothes. Now, you and I know that if somebody says, I'm removing my clothes to sleep, it means that he really wants to sleep. Had removed his shoe because the angel told him, put on your sandal. If a woman removes her shoes and says, I'm going to sleep, man, you have to get some serious alarm. <laughs> Apart from that, the Bible says that a light came to the room, which means that if he was using lantern, he would switch them off. Now, if somebody switch off light, it means I'm ready to sleep. Now somebody who knows I'm, I'm, I'm about to die the next day and had slept like that. Peter, what are you thinking about whilst asleep? And I realized that Peter was trying to tell us that in the midst of adverse circumstances, I know that ladies and gentlemen, you have some huge depth on your head. But baby, relax. He that watches over Israel for your sake shall never sleep nor slumber. Do you believe in a God who is able to bring peace on every side? Can you clap and shout yes? Isaiah 26 verse 3 he will keep in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him because he trusted in him there is too much confusion these days in the world young girls are trusting God for mega openings and because of that they are doing everything possible to make it work and because of that you see people 30 years gone too soon 45 years obituary but after today the peace of God that surpasses all understanding is coming upon your life I declare rest on every side marital rest financial rest educational rest ministerial rest can you clap and shout rest Peter was asleep in the prison and hey in those days when Herod says you are dead you are dead when Herod says that tomorrow you are dead no negotiations wave your hands am I communicating but Peter was resilient and so relaxed, knowing very well that because he lives, I can face tomorrow. He knew that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue that will rise against me in judgment, I shall condemn it. He knew that because the Lord is with me, who can be against me? I'm here to tell you, they've told you that they are taking it to a shrine, but go and sleep. Why? Because when they release the arrow, it will pass over your roof. I prophesy over your life that a thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right it will never come near you with your eyes alone you shall behold the reward of the wicked can you clap and shout yes I believe I believe Peter picked the cue from what happened when they were following Jesus on the high waters and the storm became very raging and tempestuous. In the midst of the storm, Jesus was asleep in the stern. 
And I believe Peter picked the cue from it that in the midst of the confusion, go and sleep. I mean, relax, relax. Why don't catch the young warrior? Share. Kabna Boati, Jao Jao Hono. And so I wouldn't win you. One another junior Juma. Timmy, wait a minute. Am I communicating? The best is yet to come. And when one door closes, another door shall open. I thought some good person will clap in here. Jesus walking on earth told everybody he met the son of man had no place to lay his head and on Calvary when he was crucified wounded for my transgressions and bruised for my iniquities and the chastisement of my peace was laid upon him and by his stripes I was healed the first time the son of man rested he had no place to rest but this time around when the blood came out of Emmanuel's vein. He found rest in my salvation. Now, so if he's resting, why shouldn't I rest? If you're close to me, you know I'm too restful. So relax. Because I know he's faithful. Relax. If you don't understand these things I'm teaching you, you go and borrow money you don't have. To buy clothes you don't need. To please people who care less about you. Sister, be your. Can I have somebody and tell the person, relax, relax, relax? last point now to the main message can i preach supernatural doors can open the angel enters the prison and tells peter boy you are not supposed to be here get out let's move and peter tries to leave the leg things leave the hands things Live the sun, James. Sixteen soldiers, four by all the four gates, and then supernaturally, James turned on like that. James turned like that, and they moved. And the angel opened the doors. Opened the doors. They got to the last gate, which was an iron gate. And the Bible said the iron gate opened by its own accord. I believe those people who did the electronic doors picked this revelation from the scripture. Ladies and gentlemen, the gate opened by its own accord. I believe as soon as they entered the gate, a supernatural sensor picked the signal that some anointed people have entered and this year get ready as you enter some doors they will open themselves not by might not by power but by my spirit share the lord do you believe supernatural doors can open stand up and shout like thunder I see some marital doors opening by fire I see some financial doors opening by fire the next level conference join us at the next level conference a 10-day conference with two sessions the morning session at 9 a.m to 12 30 p.m evening session at 6 30 p.m to 9 30 p.m date 
3rd to 14th July 2019. Venue, Rema Carver Center, Pakwase, SCP Junction, opposite the high-tension bus stop. Theme, Step Up. This next-level conference will host two mega all-nights on Friday, 5th and 12th of July at 9 p.m. respectively. Speakers, the Bishop Edwin Iwusi Brookman and his sons, Prophet Charles Hagen, Reverend Blankston Edu Okine, Reverend Theophilus Amen Menza, Prophet Jedediah Bondanti Kobil, and Prophet Stephen Ochre, ministering Minister Akofa of Rima Void Season 1 fame, Rima Stars, RCC Mass Choir, Minister Ben K, and PS Adorable. Step up for the next level conference. Be not afraid, only be strong and courageous, for the Lord your God goes before you and he is your rare God. This conference is under the sound leadership of God's anointed servant, the Bishop Edwin Ewusi Brookman. Are you, Are you ready, ready for the next level conference? Join us at the Next Level Conference, a 10-day conference with two sections. The morning section at 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Evening section at 6.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Date, 3rd to 14th July 2019. Venue. And so you can see powerful architecture. And Israel was a bit scared. They went to God and said, the war technique as to dealing with these walls. And God said, move around it seven days. On the seven they move around seven times after the seven ten shout shout these sophisticated walls god said yes shout they are there very sophisticated but they don't have foundations so i realized that no matter how big the problem is it doesn't have a foundation and this year get ready i see them brushed off like that god is going to step on the stage and every serious problem is going to be dealt with if you believe in clap and shout yes doors open by their own accord no gimmick no stress no lobbying the doors open like that and there's a young girl here you have this wonderful certificate with powerful CV and no job is coming they will call you and beg you to come for your car your house and your yes can, can I preach to, to you? Yes. Every door that is closed, lift up your heads, all oh ye gates, and ye everlasting doors. Let the King of Glory enter. I hear the devil say, Who is this King of Glory? The Lord strong and mighty is his name. I see doors open on every side. Can you shout, Open! open! Sit down. Can I preach now? Hallelujah. If I look at how the Red Sea divided Hitha Tita and Israel walked through, ladies and gentlemen, that was not even the miracle. The miracle in this very story was how the wet ground got dried. You and I know the sea has no end. How God even gave it an end for them to finish and cross. This year, God will embarrass you with blessings. Certain doors you least expected. It will open it and it up. Can you clap and shut up? Jesus. 
Jesus was in the tomb had promised everybody that after the third day I will resurrect. I can see the first day did not resurrect and the devil throw him pity party and giving excitement to all his court telling them he promised he will resurrect. Nothing has happened. Devil wait a minute. If it has not happened don't think God cannot do it. He, he, he reserved the best for the last. And I'm here to announce to you we people and dear for a night but joy cometh in the morning. I know but now your enemies have concluded on your case that nothing good is coming out of her life. Yes, 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 yes. Mark the upright man, behold the righteous. The end of that man is peace. The beginning may be rough, but certainly God will show up at the last hour. On the third day, an angel came from heaven and rolled away the stone. And get ready, some stones are about to be rolled away for you to have access into your marriage, for you to have access into your ministry. Come on, take three steps and say, I'm out. Can I talk? Yes. 97, we planted our first church in Cape Coast. And I hosted 64 black Americans. 64. Yeah, they were coming to the Cape Coast Castle. And I hosted 64 black Americans. And the Ministry of Culture and whatever those days um, had to link with my church in Cape Coast because then it was one of the strongest churches. And they wanted us to host them. And I was supposed to do this big concert. Charlie, could the babu? Morning or day. But this was an opportunity to put our church on a certain level. I went to my closet and said, God, this thing should not pass away. We need cash. I drove to the church compound, parked my car, and then the usher said, Daddy, did you see that man in white who just passed? I said, Ooh, I just turned, nobody was there. I said, I didn't see him. They said, he just left. The, the officers moved out. They said, the man was not there. Then I said, what did he come to do? Ten minutes before church started. And they said, the man came with this envelope on the altar. Am I communicating? And he said, he sent from the department of heaven to come and put this envelope on the altar. When my usher said Department of Heaven, I looked at him and I was like, you people are hearing voices. <laughs> you mean the angel said that? And he said, yes. I said, well, let me see. So I told some of the leaders who were present that take the money, count it. When they counted, it was the exact amount. <laughs> the exact, the very, the exact amount we needed for the concert. It was there I realized he really came from the department. I said, where are you? Didn't God tell you that apart from the concert, me too? I... <laughs> Some doors can open for you you have never imagined. Me say, me mouth just 14 days. Your amen is sick of course call. <laughs> are you ready for a mega opening? Stand up and shout! Yes! Sit down. Three things, three things that must happen if you want your doors opened. And then I'll be done. And I'll begin to prophesy and pray for people. Three things. Number one. Number one. Number one. Some herods must die some policemen some guards who have been assigned to police your progress to ensure you are always in chains must freeze yeah. some people are standing behind some doors and they have car and thumbed and they've been in here that they will never allow you to move. Any good thing that is coming your way, they will do everything to block it. This year, by fire, by thunder, yes. whether they are from your mother's house or your father's house, yes. Holy Ghost! Fire. 
Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Come on, lift your hands. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. I'm not hearing you. Come on, say, my father, my father. My father, my father. As I clap and I pray. As I clap and I pray. Every witch in my family. Every witch in my family. Against my openings. Against my openings. Say, catch fire. Catch fire. Can you clap and open fire right now? Come on. Lift the prayer. Hey. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, 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 hey. Can you clap and give Jesus glory? Until Pharaoh dies, Israel can never get you another promise because it will chase you everywhere you go. But tonight, the battle lines are drawn. May the enemy ascend from hell against your mecca openings. May that enemy catch fire. fire. Oh, you are clapping like that? Uh. Hey. I was preaching in Antwerp, Belgium, and I picked a certain lady in the spirit and I said, Sweetheart, you have been in Europe for nine years, but you don't have documents. She said, Yes, Papa, yes, Papa. And this was a Nigerian girl. Osas, yes, Papa, yes, but she started crying. I said, But I see in the spirit that your documents are ready. He said, But they've not called me. I laid hands and I prayed for it. It was a Friday all night service just like this. On Saturday morning, an auntie of hers in the village called her and said, what were you doing at that pastor's church? Then the lady said, I went to church. The auntie said, don't go there again. He said, auntie, Abba, I'm a big girl now. I can choose whatever church I want to attend. The auntie said, okay, I will teach you and that pastor and own teacher on a lesson, or they may come. Now, only me may enjoy my lesson. But I'm my lessons. Ah. She was on her way to consult her oracle. When the cars have assorted, the two legs were cut off. And be, be, be before a pulpit, God is my witness. Anybody consulting me to us against your destiny, ah. Holy Ghost. Ah. On Monday morning, they called the sister and told her in their home office or whatever, and they said, For a very long time, we have been looking for you. Where have you been? Her document had been issued almost five years, and it was left with four months for it to expire. I'm here to tell you anybody sitting on your miracle, yes. Holy Ghost, Fire. 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 Holy Ghost. Fire. But Bishop, I thought you were cultured. Why are you teaching the people to kill human beings? No, 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 you're not getting, you're getting me wrongly. The Herods were known for killing. 
one instigated the killing of all the children in the days of Jesus were born at the time when Jesus was born the other one instigated the killing of John the Baptist and then this one is also instigated the killing of this man called Peter so who is he in that family who is behind all the killings is what I'm talking about so any witch any blood testy witch uh, whose assignment is to some yes. blood I look at that witch by fire yes. and I prophesy not your blood uh, I said not your blood yes. I said not your blood yes. lift your hand and shout uh, Any herald around your life, Pass. I cut him down. Power. I said I cut him down. Fire. I said I cut him down. Fire. I said I cut him down. Fire. If the person is a friend undercover, Holy Ghost. Fire. If the person is a cousin undercover, Holy Ghost. Fire. Because unfortunately they have the keys. They've locked you and they've kept them in their pockets. This year, somebody will release the keys. Jesus. Oh, can you clap for Jesus? Please. Yes. <laughs> Say Herod must die. Herod must die. No, no, I'm not hearing you. Come on, shout it. Say, Herod must die. Herod must die. Again, for the last time, shout it. Say, Herod must die. Herod must die. The second thing, you should have praying men around you. Hello? If you want some supernatural doors to open, you need some praying people around your life. Mm, you are right. Yeah. We're in a time where people don't value anointed people. Actually, problem with me at no politician can help you. Yeah. Right. Ah. We see them all the time in my office. One of them, big bar, called and said, Hello, is this Brookman? I'm sure you the Who from you, Brookman? <laughs> is this Brookman? Well, I've been watching you, are not bad. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I want to invite you to my office. And then have some deliberations with you and i want to see what we can do but you know i have some issues and i'm saying so, well i'm i'm very busy and uh, if you want it you can come to my office <laughs> me you can't manipulate with your money there's no money i've not seen in this world and you are on only for four years i'm a pastor for life <laughs> you are not clapping am i communicating Hallelujah. So, I said, well, I'm called to serve. But the point is that I serve people who value what I have. Yes. I'm a very humble person. Because with the grace on me, because I'm very, 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 very humble. But my point is that if you despise what I have, my Bible tells me, don't let any man despise your youth. what I'm saying is that get to a point in life where you are connected to praying people because I said me to one when God lifted me in Western reading in the in the in the late 80s through the 90s there's a big church be this Orthodox church is not almost um um, they were about to determine who become the next bishop. Okay. And a bishops, um, four that were eligible, no, but Kunde, three na kudros. But some bishops. Sure. But Kunde, and a but Kunde say, oh no no, no one miss her. Today ni nyano. But two ano I say. Tibi tibi esa ano mo deni ba. Bishop deni yo. I say. That I was on prophet, prophet. <laughs> then I saw what was happening in the spirit. I said, No, down. 
I took oil and I poured it on him and I said, that demon, I exercise apostolic authority and I command that demon to leave you right now. Instantly, the thing was reversed. The man is not the bishop. And the other one, maybe now. What I'm saying is that, listen, imagine if this man, with all his bishopric, whatever, had no connection with anointed people. And now I'm saying, I'm not going to be able to And now I'm going to be So you must be connected to praying people. That's why don't, join, don't, don't, don't just join a church because it is within your closest proximity. Join a church because prayer is going on, like here. Prayer, prayer. Because suddenly you can encounter problem here. It will take prayer to take you out. Prayer. Get connected to praying people. People who can pray. Pray. Aleko bakasikita. Some of you, all your friends are this. Um... <laughs> Say prayer. Say prayer. The Bible says when Peter was arrested and the church did not cease to pray. They prayed and prayed and prayed. I love the KJ. The Bible says, and they made prayer. Empire, which means that Omen Koti will be an English. The thing came like that. Not Father God Almighty, thou knowest thou come it. No, no. The thing came like that. Prayer. Increase my volume a bit. I'm getting tired. They made prayer. And as they prayed, the last thing that you must do is to believe God for angelic visitations. Hey, I believe in angels. Hello? Oh, come on. Am I communicating? Yeah. Hebrews 1, 7. And, his, and he made his angels his spirits. Angels are spirits. Although sometimes, once in a while, because of their assignment, they could be permitted to come in the form of human beings and then they fulfill the mandate after that they step back into the angelic realm. In fact, there is no human being who can be an angel. Praise the Lord. Now, can I preach in here? But I believe in angels who are dead to minister to those of us who are heirs of salvation. According to Hebrews 1 4 10, ladies and gentlemen, the kind of demons we are confronted with, we need angels 24 7 to be around us and to protect us from every attack. That's why I release angelic visitations and prophesy that as you step out of here, may you be covered by angels who will open some doors men cannot open. Can you clap and shout yes? Yeah. Let me finish. We're in a world today where when your child is leaving the house, you are scared because she could be kidnapped. But hey, baby Moses can be in the basket in the middle of the river now, according to Josephus, a great historian. He said there were alligators and crocodiles in the Nile, but none of them could chop Moses because angels were protecting the basket. You will leave your children for school and no homosexual demon can touch them. Angels will protect your children 24-7. Can you stand up and shout? Angels can open doors. They can open doors on every side. And let me finish my message. The doors were supernaturally opened. And Peter stepped out. And the Bible says he came to himself and realized it was a dream. It was not that what happened to him was not a dream. And they will say, how possible? And you tell them, this is indeed the finger of God. Yes. Can we clap and give Jesus glory? Yes. Hallelujah. Uh, 
Obi wo ha ye fro kodjo mensa. Is anybody like that here? Kodjo mensa. Kodjo mensa. Anybody like that? Are you the one? Oh, you are not clapping at all. Your father. But you are Kodjo Mensa. You are Kodjo by birth, Mensa by birth. Oh, you are not clapping. Professor. Are you in this ministry? Visitor, yes. because as I was preaching, God told me stop preaching. I said why? Then I saw a coffin. Then I saw Kudu Mensa in the coffin, and they were about to close the coffin. Then God said, "Stop them quick! Otherwise, later by four hours' time, he will drop dead." Not in this house. Amen. Oh, you are not clapping at all. <laughs> Obeni, you will not die. Amen. You will live to declare the works of God. Amen. Do you believe our brother will not die? Yes, sir. Stretch your hands to our name. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every attack. Every attack of premature death. Of premature death. Against our brother. Against our brother. Say catch fire. Catch fire. Come on, say say catch fire. Catch fire. Say as I clap and I pray. As I clap and I pray. Break the spirit of death. Break the spirit of death. Can you clap and open fire? Papa lava kapa sopa lava kapa da 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 bo shata. Sati kodo bolo do bo shata lava kapa de pe de. La bo shati lava kapa lava da 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 da. You are not clapping at all. Lift your hands. I shall not die. I shall not die. I will live to declare the words of God. Declare the words of Listen, God. I think we have to do this. Please stand up for me because I don't want you to die. You have to have enough health to enjoy your wealth that is coming. You are not saying amen. Amen. Lift your hands up for me. Say, my father, my father. My, my father, father, my father. This morning. This morning. Every arrow of death. Every, every arrow, arrow of death. Shot at me. Shot at me. Say, back to sender. Back to sender. Come on, say, say, back to sender. Back to sender. Say, as I clap and I pray. As I clap and I pray. I reverse that arrow. I reverse that arrow. Can you clap and reverse it? <laughs> Lift your hands for 
me. Sure. What do you do? You are a preacher. And a driver by profession. And a driver by profession. Yes. You will escape every arrow of death. <laughs> Break! You are not clapping at all. <laughs> Emmanuel Obi. Who's that? Who's that? Is that your name? Are you clapping like that? You see, when, when a word of prophecy comes, as you clap, you connect with the word. And God could look at you as well. And let Obi and his little toe swan out of fear. So, you be here for the show, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. But oh, come on, I said Hallelujah. Amen. If you are sitting, please stand up for me. Stretch your hands on our dear sister. It, mommy, is your is your father alive? Huh? Yes, please. Uh, do you have a good relation with him? Yes. Um, after service, can you go and see him? Is yes, he around please. here, Accra? Yes. Eh? Yes. Because my person don't say to Papa chest. What jama? Me who say I can one week probably a heart attack. And I'm seeing this fishing thing. What is that? Is your father a fisherman? He has a tilapia farm, but there are issues. Yes. yes. And I'm saying, say, Papa, not dream, I said, Nyamia intervene supernaturally. Obey your shock. And that will be it. That will be it. But I'm here to reverse it. Hey. <laughs> Do you believe God can turn things around? We want to use it as a point of contact. We want to locate the Father wherever He is. Magedi Gala Supronta Kadish. Malogobo Shadada. Vrakito Kalabahaya. Rabababaka. Let me show this thing that I saw quickly. Who is um, Loveless? Loveless. 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 Anybody with that name? Loveless. Hey. Loveless. Anybody like that? That's your name. Loveless. 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 Hallelujah. Professor. Loveless. You know what? What do you do? Um, I'm a student, but yes. I'm but what? I'm home now. You are home now. Doing nothing. Is she a member of this house? Ah. I call when you see Kebia. Mundi pa. Are you clapping for money, Professor? Say. Came born again when I saw prophet prophesying and was saying this will happen when this one was your seed. This one, let me hear you in Tino. When I when I heard them said this one was this one break them jam, so I could have so I could shifu and the bed is on get mom from Quay. And then Yamia do my home be big a crib. I'm saying, Hey, I did some of a fine. Listen, wave your hands here. 
listen 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 there's nothing like when you are in a place where you know you can feed yourself and feed your family but your level is going to be a deliverance for the entire family yeah. Professor. you see and that's the kind of blessing i'm talking about when you are made a blessing oh <laughs> as you are clapping may that blessing come on you loveless lift your hands up loveless home is that your name i entered the home family and i saw a victory fail the lord said poverty has been broken <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I professor? Professor. I saw 20 written on your forehead. How old are you? 20. And I saw it erased. And then I saw 21. But when I saw the 21, then I saw gold around the 21. Then God said, as you step into your 21st year, that is where the doors will begin to open. As you are clapping me, your doors. <laughs> Bring it to me. Oh, Rabba Kashada Dabahaya. Levoza Bangeli Agedonglo Safintoli Atititaya. Freba! Hey, when she fell, who is precious? Who is precious? Ask her for me. Thank you, sister. Your kid sister. Is she also here? He's at home. You are coming out with everybody connected. Huh? <laughs> let me lay hands and I can get into other very serious stuff. Why am I coming here? My local shadow behind. I release you and the entire family. Oh my goodness. Break! Yeah. The case is broken. Mm -hmm. This is free. Uh, who is Jennifer? A free year. Jennifer, a free year. Jennifer, a free year. If you are like that person, your angel is standing here. Run to me quick. Come take it. Quickly, Jennifer, a free year. Quickly, quickly. Uh, Mohima, come here. Let me solve something quickly. Run here. Jennifer, a free year. If that's your name, you run to me quickly and come and take your blessing. Magoba, lift your hands up for me. Malogo, shadadadabaya. Ha. Grandebo, shadadabaya. Ekratesto, karande, kaba. Radiba as a point of contact. Remember the mother, Father, bring her to me in the name of Jesus. Stretch your hands on her for me. Every attack, every cardio attack, we can't, we can't, we cancel it. We, we cancel it. Mangodo Shabandali Ate Shakaya. We settle it. That is free in Jesus' name. And now, settled. Are you clapping like that? Come here. Lift your hands up for me. Mandolo Loboko Shanta. Death, you are living. Death. Manko shapate koradista mego da zita di de bahaya ah break ah now who did this to you Nilda give me oil get us some crazy quickly quickly I'm going to get into some serious things I just want to settle these little things stretch your hands on him for me 
you spirits of death. Mama hmm. Maya, you won't die. Also, you will live to fulfill your assignment in the name of Jesus. It's set a man down. Stretch it. Uh, the lady, but I found something coming, sir. Oh, yeah, no. Now, for come, Father, come here quickly. Quickly. Touch my hands. Man in down. Man in down. Okufia. Okufia, for one, sir, right. No, for come, Father, chest. Now, declare, say, this oil that has come on you is transferred back to your dad. Amen. In Jesus' name. Have you prayed that one, sir? Cross the mommy. We are not going to do some serious things. Lift your hands up. Say fire three times. Fire. 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 Again, for the last time, fire three times. Fire. 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 Say every closed door. Every closed door. On my destiny. On my destiny. Say this morning. This morning. Say open my fire. Open my fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I clap and I pray. As I clap and I pray. I command the doors to open. I command the doors to open. You clap and open fire right now. Listen, you are going to pray, and you are saying every prison I find myself in, I'm stepping out of that prison. And you're not standing at one place, you will move out. The prison of depression, the prison of financial insufficiency, the prison of frustration, poverty, demonic attacks, the prison of perversion. You are stepping out. Are you ready? Lift your hands up. Say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Lord. This morning. This morning. As I clap. As I clap. And I pray. And I pray. I'm stepping out. I'm stepping out. Of every prison. Of every prison. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, by fire, by thunder. By fire, by thunder. I break free. I break free. From every prison. From every prison. Every spiritual prison. Every spiritual say, prison. I'm out. I'm out. Say, I'm out. I'm out. Come on, say, I'm out. I'm out. Can you clap and step your feet and begin to pray? Hey, 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 hey,
Get somebody's hand one to one quickly for me. Christabel York. Professor. Are you the one? Do you have plans of buying a car very soon? Yes. Huh? Yes. Look at me. I saw a serious accident and the thing that caught fire and went in the car. But I'm breaking it because. The Lord has opened the door and no witch can close that door. Your amen is not born again. Yes! Because accident break. Accident break. Can we do it again? Yet you will not cry in your house say you are going to town to come only for us to hear say we can't say no 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 Never. say accident break accident break mommy come here every attack of accident madoshta karuta papa Break, 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 break. As you are clapping, your own attack is breaking. Magodasha Ibalahaya Gletofesetete Yagabada Break Are you clapping like that? After me to let her see me, I want to tell her, I want to give her a name she should be careful of. Some, someone who calls herself a friend. Very, very close. For the fact that we'll be tricked our own tribune. Why you yell no man? So that you can be very careful. Anybody around you. Hey. Ah. Who is evil? I command fire thunder to locate the person. Amen. This your amen comes from China. I'm telling you. Can you imagine? Jesus. I surround you with the fire of the Holy Ghost. And I declare you untouchable. In Jesus' name, can you clap for Jesus? <laughs> Let me have your attention. Strike the keyboard, strike the keyboard. Um, 
Papa, I'm born in the bomb pile, man. Me ka kojo mensa. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Kojo mensa. Yes, sir. Open him, bra. Please stop. Is there anyone here with that same name, Kojo Mensa? Another Kojo Mensa. Ask them for me. Kojo Mensa and Kofi Mensa, something. Because the thing, I'm done with you, but may yes, I could minister to somebody, but the thing keeps coming. And I want to solve it because I don't know why it keeps coming like that. But you'll be trying to push you, push you, not push you, mommy. So we're fraud then. Yes. Because some people, you know, someone. No, the person must be in the meeting. Thank you very much. The person must be in the meeting. Kojo Mensa. Obuasa. Obuasa. No wada wada. Are you sure? Hey. What's your name? What's your name? Yeah, Kojo Mensa. Kojo Mensa. Kojo Mensa. This is your club head comes from. That's why you need a prophet. Like Bishop Brookman. This is your club pen is weak. Why? Yet the mammy says, Oh, of ya, won't suck us, your mammy. Near, oh, your mam beta. Yen and she, Betty, it's your name, can you lift your two hands up, church? Let's worship him. Come on, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Now, your mommy, now. Oh, your mommy, da. In a joke. Let's take it again. Oh, your mommy, oh. All hands up, everybody just watch him now. Yeah, Shabale bola bola koseta. Nya wo ye mami. Everybody watch him. Yo la 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 koseta. Hey. Come on everybody. Let's go. Missi o nya mi bo fue. O nya mi I know pray you baby why you come on worship me for the anointing for it's all about you hallelujah now who am I in a joke can clap for Jesus. There's one topic we want to deal with right now. And you mean the enemy can uh, want it? Everything the bishop said, he didn't hear anything. Wow. That's powerful. So imagine if I had just swept it under the carpet like that. Can you clap for authentic prophet? <laughs> Because I was about getting to something different, and God said, No, insist. Because somebody is here who is not labeled for death like him. You've dealt with this case, but there's somebody's case you have to address. I know, but I feel just to lay hands on him, and something will turn in his life. 
You see, that's why when we come to church, we have to be very alert because this to me, I, I can never think it's coincidence. I'm very sure the demons had to just. I'm telling you. Kneel for me. Lift your hands up. Can you stretch your hands on him, please? Obeni. Uba sonoa. Aye, mama da church. Uba sonoa. Uba sonoa. What price the Oka Butri four times? Then I refuse you. You have tried to get a visa four times to travel outside. On all accounts, you are refused. This week, yeah. American Embassy. Just this week, you went to the Obenya five years. Obi to me, say, Nia, the joy of Kupu, Sano, Obia, to the Mishirano, Nakoi, Obi to me, so we are the Dynami and some of the Is anybody called Mavis Boatima Osei? Anybody like that? Sure, Madam Yentemo now ends his stooge now. Kuta fifty thousand dollars. I mean, for now, Wama Obi Mejine Munyemano. Is that your name? You are the one. Are you clapping like that? You are my Serrano, now we Serrano. Obi, I to me Serrano. Obi, I to me Di, we Serrano. Ota ufunu ya Serrano. As you are dancing, may God release your own blessings. Oye ya, we to me Serrano. Ani di elu ko ya me sing so. Se ya me Serrano, ota ufu ya kwa. Ya me me na ma ya Serrano. Ya me Serrano, na ya me sa. What do you do? You are a nurse. Get ready, sick, be good town. Prayer polish. This year you will swim in money. Do you believe you are free to prosper? Lift your hand and shout like thunder. Waiting, I go give to you my praise. Waiting, I go give to you. Waiting, I go give to you. Waiting, I go give to you. Waiting, I go give to you my praise, my praise. Please come up. This thing you did, eh? Come here. Are you a Ghanaian? Eh? Hold my hand. I opened the financial door. <laughs> Packets. Door open. Eh? To be the Amapokia. You have an auntie called Amapokia. Want to be sir. Amen, auntie. My accent, you know, I have to be careful with my presentations because we are to bring protection to families. Um, what don't suffer, said Edwarda, Briefy and Abedidi.
She has invited you home on Monday to come and eat. Oh, that's so much. Amen. Amen. Kotivisa nibiyo we are now called. Oh, are we together? How my wato beni si Jesus we mami wasi ami boni nina wasi kamso eranti matima kota na mameti bi zuna waye zumeti. Professor. life eh? you see uh, can I push it professor <laughs> oh, auntie, Kaneshi. your auntie lives at Kaneshi eh? yeah because men I'm so excited what my fun of case I don't but not me ready for you be more I enter the house Professor, let me settle it. Anyway, I won't. I won't. Can I go further? Yeah. <laughs> oh, passport, no way. Where's your passport? Huh? Ayira. Ayira. Yeah. Professor. And it's now by. Father. Receive favor. Can, can we stretch our hands here, please? Intervene supernaturally. Every connival between the connection man, your auntie, anything that has gone on, any mystical whatever. Neko bagadali didi disatas. Break. Affliction will never happen this time again. Break. Are you clapping like that? Me was in a me for come on, Busu. Me was in a me for come on, Pifia. Me never made a good time. Are you talking about the man who is in a man? Sorry, now. All the women All the women. And the men should sit down. Thank you. 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 You see, for a very long time, I thought the prophetic ministry was for only men. Until recently, I started seeing some women prophesying. Now, God said to me, this unction is coming on most of the girls. You don't believe it, Abby? Lift your hands up for me. The oil to see, to hear, and to speak. I saw 21 people who are receiving this monster. Holy Ghost! By the count of seven, bring them to me. One! your hands make my life all again can I lift your hands and sing now spirit move we need you to move up. can I see your two hands up church spirit move lift your hands and sing holy spirit holy spirit 
from the front to the back. Come on, take it. Spirit. I saw literal fire coming from the front to the back. Revival in the spirit. Holy Ghost. I release the anointing and the fire of the Holy Ghost. With the Peja Wisha, Peja Wisha, let the fire hit your hands now. Tag it. Finally, lift your hands up, ladies. Let the glory come on you. In Jesus' name. Amen. The rest can sit down. And I'll just help me out. You bring the one after the other, I'll touch them. And when I touch you, please go back to your seat quickly, quickly. Bring them in and out. Until you go back to your seat. For you can please sit down for me. Yeah, mommy, no down here for me. When I'm casting musicano, you want to say my wati. I transfer this blessing on you. You will never lack and you never borrow. 
you will lend to nations. It's done. God bless you. Are you married? Huh? Huh? Do you have a boyfriend? Where is he? Where is he? He's around. He's around. Boyfriend, come on. Oh, around. no, he's not here. I'm just also. <laughs> He has to decide. The man is six months. He about snow. When you fast and you be uniform, when you be a serious Within six months, if it's not serious, God will drive him out and bring a serious person. Can we come for Jesus? Two, understand what he's talking about some of you have never preached before so you won't understand anointing plus poverty eh? because frustrations you can't handle and now to me down much was sorry i was thinking get at you it's now about tongues Understand. I know I know what it is to fast seven days dry and break with Gary. It was suicidal. People see me today say, I wear fresh so hey. Nyami pan is so you move. Because I look at those days and I'm like, hey. and we survived. Also, God will pull you through. I'll lay my hands on you. I can give you money, but that is not enough. What you need is the grace. What you need is the grace. And I say this humbly. People get close to me and what is on me rubs on them. Prophet Bernard was with us in Takwadi. And I laid hands on him and prayed for him and transferred. And look at him today. So, such as I have, I give you favor, oil, anointing to excel and to break barriers. Go and succeed. Amen. You are not clapping. You've done so much for me. I cannot tell you. So wisely, such that we are who are we action man? Yeah, and the so called quiet confusion. We are Tinamina be yet to know. Now, once I have a passport, no, which media call, and this time you will never miss it. Amen. It's not some of you, sir. Okay, I'm if you are men that be white. Sit down. Are you clapping for Jesus? You've done so much for me. I can't. My friend, no, I see that. Come here. Um, no, you, but not me, 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 me. Um, one Emmanuel Ajay Mensa, your what, your boss? Yes, I 
left your short bow. His life is very, very short. Um, come here. Sit on the water for me. God, who is Noel Marie? Set a farm, your wife. Oh, your mom, my God, I come over to you and we prophesy, and you won't even appreciate it. <laughs> I told you to plant a seed. Separate. Bring it. to lay hands on you. Every angel of death after your life will stop chasing you from today. Is your wife watching us? She's sleeping. Lift your hands up. This deliverance coming is on you and your wife. I cover you. I cover you. I cover you. Finish. As you are clapping my life to the full come. You've done so much for me. I cannot tell you no. If I gave you a direction in any of the days and you came with it, what, what is G I Z? G I Z. G I Z. Anybody connected to that G I and Z? What is that? What's up? Yes, please. What is this? Um, I work at GIZ. You yes. work at GIZ? Yes. Is it in Kumasi? I'm stationed in Kumasi. You are stationed in Kumasi? Yes, please. Professor. He shall be permanent. He shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me. He shall be permanent. Everybody say, He shall be permanent. He shall be permanent. direction last night or any of the nights and you brought it please come forward and let me be quick about it then I can get into other stuff if I give a direction you came with it please come forward uh, first of all let me call the thousand dollars people the thousand dollars people if you came forward 
If you can, please come forward. Let's clap for them as they come. I thought there were more than two. Or two. Two. Hold my hands, please. Father, may they never lack any good thing. Let every expectation of their heart be met in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Please take your seat. Let's clap for the Lord. When I came here on Wednesday, I gave a prophecy. Be how many of you were here on Wednesday when I came? Hello. And I recall I said I traveled in the spirit to Amsterdam, for to Holland. You remember? And I said I was in a hospital. And I said I saw in the spirit. Uh, sweetheart, what's your name? Mavis. Is that your name? Yes, please. You, you remember I mentioned the name like that? Onyamini mikama fo, onyamini mikama fo, onyamini mikama fo. Onyakupo mkoa, onu kwa ni mikama fo. As I told her to climb in the spirit, I saw myself again in Amsterdam. And I saw myself walking again in the hospital. Then I saw myself again standing by this bed. And I saw a man very sick to the point of death. An angel pulled a file out. And I saw Nobel. <laughs> Professor, as you are clapping, may God visit your family. Say hey! hey! Is it? And 
Now ask her for me. Who is Nobel? He's my brother. He has been sick almost a year now. He's even at the emergency center in Amsterdam. <laughs> I saw on his file in the spirit kidney problem. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Me exactly. Me um, Hey, I, are you clapping like that? Hey. The microscopic, uh, the forensic prophet. But you see, the Lord told me that is the name doctors have given to it, but it's a demon that has come to hide at this side and God said we should cast that devil out right. and within three days your uncle or your brother right. is going to step out of the hospital I thought somebody will clap and shout stretch your hands on her say fire three times Say we enter Amsterdam. We enter Amsterdam. And every attack. And every attack on our sister's brother. On our sister's say break. break. Can you clap and lift a prayer? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Mommy, tell me your brother will not die. Amen. Man. Prophet Iman, when the day said same, when I came to him on Tuesday. So he has I told you your brother will not die. He will not die, yes. Lift your hands up, look into my eyes. I'm a senior prophet. Hey. He's a junior prophet. When I say it, it's final. You're not clapping. I, I remember, I remember in a certain program, Washington comes, uh, or do you say, no, Papa, I had the patch of Hena to us, mommy. Hallelujah. Look into my eyes. But the oil on me, I curse the devil. Break! Your brother is totally delivered. My brother, do shaga diga do dadaya. Hey, break! Transfer what is on me on you. Amen. May God spare your life. Mm. Could it turn to protect?
Pokoknya ni semua. Pemimpin dia mana? Yes, they are called for 500 and 200. If you came with them, please come forward. Lift it up. I called for 1,000. Oh, okay. So 1,500 and then 200. Please come forward and lift them up for me, please. Eh, what's your boy when you're missing when this one? And you should have. Yes, if you to prosper. Remember, program it to say now, they call home. It's not good. Minim Akobo, Master of Cape Coast, Mr. Ajubli. Your boy, I know I'm sorry. Your boy, I know I'm sorry. You do be now sorry for Mr. David, what the card do? What the card do? Train, what you are there? What did we know about? I am more. Can somebody help them, please? With the oil. Did you come to oil? For the next seven days, every morning, anoint yourself, okay? This is your own oil. I didn't give it to you so that you will see what could be a I just prayed on it. Just anoint yourself seven days. Let's watch God, okay? Take it. You do the same. I bless the oil. Solve something, so please just a couple of five minutes, maybe. Um, um, Obia, mommy, and attention. I want your attention. The Lord spoke to me to call 28 people. Say 28. 28. Yeah, 28 people. And remember the message I preached. I preached on the message supernatural openings. Some 28 people are trusting God for some gracious openings, be serious ones. Yeah, now they now over there. Some of them say only one million dollars. No, serious opening. On some breakthrough, they can't go out. They must say wait. The in fact, Nyamiaye. Hello. Yeah, and these are the people God is asking me to call. Um, these people are going to sow a seed into the message that came into the word. And you believe in the prophet, you prosper. You are saying, Father, I believe in this oil. I believe in the grace on E.O.C. Brookman. I believe in it. I'm sowing the seed. Now, when you sow the seed, I'm going to hold your hands and speak over you. If I'm a prophet, after this conference, next year by this time, may we return to this very place and you will be having a testimony to tell. 
to the glory of God. Can I hear a resounding amen? Yeah. Now, these people, God spoke to me to start by mentioning 250 Ghana cities. They are so in it in the house of God. 250 Ghana cities. 250 Ghana cities. So if you are part of those people, you take the seed. Now, don't walk as if you are coming to do me some help or favor. Walk as if you know that the prophet carries an oil to open a door for me and just rush to the podium and come and show. <clears throat> Bless you. Jesus name. I'm going to pray. Amen. Bless you in Jesus name. Amen. Yeah. Scan over. Stand behind them. 250 cities. 200. Kobe, how are you? Yeah, 250 cities. Lift it, lift it, lift it. If it's here. My Father in heaven. When I touch you, you drop your seed. Eto paradista. Rakibo shada dahaya. Magoda grimtoshe. Malibo shapati klento kanteris. Ibo shakabadish da papa. Rondo shta kantebo shakanta lita taya. Ah, rabababa kashata. Libo ka sapranta karadi. When I touch you, you drop the seed. Indolo shakita blo paradista. Ye, rabababa kashata kapakata. Mandelo shta karadisto. Ibala kasha pranta ka. Rama baba baka shata ka baya bo shada da baya. Ye langa dasta karadisto. Manteleke sopra dasta. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus, we can go. God bless you. In the name of Jesus. 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 Yeah, sing it. But it, it just dropped on me. He said, Obisua, how good is that? You know, I'm a Sabapokia, somebody like that. <clears throat> Anybody with that name? <clears throat> is that your name? Oh, that's your name. That's your name. Eh, Fantia. Yes, Fantia. Yeah. <clears throat> Stand here for me. Me just got bad, me shame come. Professor. Professor. Hallelujah. Let me hold it. 
Mabia. Me wonder when Mabia. What number? What two voices? And as a wofia, what is as a kofoka, as a mutia grow, kofoka na mufia. Umu utenunzo umu biya. Eh, why stand up for me? There is this thing happening to you. One number, what is as a kofoka, as a wofia, be no one's what 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 is as ubi kaza. Two voices. Eh, why? Why you must come here? What is it? Tell me exactly what happens. I just was sleeping and I will hear people jumping on top of my ceiling. Then all of a sudden I have to wake up. Is it your own bed. house or your, it's a rented house? It's my own house. Your own house. You built yeah. it yourself? My grandmom. Your grandmom? Yeah. In the spirit, we feel her a market circle. I stand. You don't understand? All right. Miss Rebo from the buying seasons. Come here. Come here. Your house in the spirit has been turned to a market center where trading goes on. Where trading goes on. In the spirit, they are selling and buying. Yes. Do you believe we can stop it right now? Yes, sir. Stretch your hands on our dear sister. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I can hear you. Come on, shout louder. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We stop it right now. We stop it right now. Can you clap and lift up it? You came to show the seed. I bless you. She will manifest. I bless you. Follow your manifestation and leave it. You foul spirit. I bless you in the name of Jesus. Uh, uh, I bless you in Jesus. Is anybody here who is connected to her? Anybody here connected to her? Huh? Yeah. Is she in the church? Uh. Huh? They've made her a tax collector in that market. Uh. Uh. See, physically, she can never have money. Because uh. she takes all the money she needs to have in the spirit. But tonight marks the night of her total deliverance. Amen. She's free. 200. Help me know you, honey. 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 Anybody here who is pregnant, but the pregnancy is abnormal, either what nine months or quality free. Hello, I remember in Tegra I prayed once for a pregnant lady who was pregnant for three years. Yes, three years. And I prayed for the next day and I walk on. I'm saying, I call kindergarten now. Three years, but. Um, oh, okay, I break it in Jesus' name. I break it in Jesus' name. I break it in Jesus' name. Mommy, I'm coming, okay? I'm I cover these children.
in Jesus' name. Amen. Please take your seats. God bless you. Settle. Let's clap for the Lord. Amen. Bishop, I can do 100 cities. I need about 20 people to sow a seed of 100 Ghana cities. I'm also connecting with the oil on the altar and in the message that came, Bishop, I'm trusting God for serious openings. Serious openings. Don't joke with the oil. Serious openings. Serious openings. Is it your brother? Your brother. So the seed, sit down. I'll call for the healing line and I'll begin to pray for the sick. Sick for how long? Four years. Yes, please. Four years. Yes, please. Okay. I'll, I'll come to him. So, sit down. Please, if you have it, drop it and shake my hands and tap the blessing. God bless you. 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 Help me know you Help me know you. I My last is the hundred. I'm coming to. Did I mention hundred? Yes. Are you coming? Okay, come, sir. Um, Bishop, I can do fifty, and that's where I will. I will pause. Fifty. Tap into the oil. Fifty. Come here. Do we have men of God in the house? Pastors, prophets, evangelists, apostles. Do we have them? Hallelujah. I challenge you to do this if you are a minister of the gospel. Drop it and shake me. Or if you've sent it, God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. How are you? God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Okay, God bless you. God bless you. Here I am. God bless you. Here I am to Here I am to You touch my hands. Those of you outside. I see some more people coming.
Yes, sir. It's good. Um, when you were going, God told me to tell you, marry her. Because he's up. waiting for a confirmation. He wants to be sure. God says, go ahead and marry her. I touch your clapping like that. Me. Tell it, Michelle, come on. I touch your clapping for Jesus. When, when he held me, he was saying to himself, ah, this pastor, he has to confirm because I want to take a decision. Let us rock. See? Sorry, Professor, I'm on the way to Can I call her? Professor, sweetheart, come, let us rock. Father, let Bishop confirm. I want to be sure and certain of this step. And God said, call him and tell him it is it. No matter the fight and the misunderstanding, the hand of God is in it. There you are, yeah. Come on, lift your hands up. Let us worship him now. Everybody, come on. Hey. I like that. But I like him. He's a nice guy. Also a romantic bar. Ah, guys, if you are coaching our guy, let's Praise the Lord. Mommy. You do the names also over book to do. I open the doors. I open the doors. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Hey! Yes, we did good. Over Santa Fe. I can't do it. I will see you soon. Come Hallelujah. <laughs> Say wow. Wow. I am now. I can pray for you. Lift your hands up for me. I lay my hands on you, and I give you the miracle. Take it, man, and now. Is she in the church? Uh, lift her up for me. Mommy, what are you doing in Sweden? Staying there with You are staying there with your mother at Sweden. Listen, you came here with a need. You've been praying that God does something. I don't want to mention it. But God mentioned your name and God told me to tell you the miracle has happened to you. Man in the house. Hey, I touch your clapping for Jesus. Yeah. 
He says she's been sleeping here since Thursday. Wednesday. I touch your clapping for the anointing. Yeah. The Lord said that why she came all the way from Swedro to come and spend time here at Spring Text. Some people even didn't see her. But she was in her own corner waiting on God. The miracle has happened. Amen. She was telling God that that curse in the family that is resisting progress, Father, deal with it. An uncle of hers is a fetish priest. By the time she arrives on Monday morning, the uncle will be paralyzed. Hey. Are you clapping like that? Yes, Anybody sitting on things in the house? Holy Ghost! I said, Holy Ghost! Peter was up. I enter my house. I enter my house. Mama, what's the original Kabebuwa? Yeah, I, I pray you stand, okay? Pray you stand. Huh. It's warfare time. Say by fire, by thunder. By fire, by thunder. As I clap and I pray. As I clap and I pray. Every devil in my house. Every devil in my house. Father's house, mother's house. Father's house, mother's house. Say catch fire. Catch fire. Can you clap and open fire? <laughs> let's do this grab one person and put your right hand on the shoulder of the person for me we must not end this program without your problem being solved am i communicating she came all the way from swedro and god remembered her and i just mentioned her name in person i think i was probably somebody i just mentioned her name like that then at a point god said that name you mentioned mention it again because there's somebody here whose name has registered in heaven and we have to address a case and look at her the case is broken now she can marry she can have money her siblings can enjoy that wizard has been dealt with completely in the spirit and the blessing has taken over you are praying for your brother and your sister that god should remember that person Sure. I was saying Nipa now could turn and send with me a wedding. That person whose hands you are holding or whose shoulders you are holding, you are saying, Father, give him or her a miracle of her lifetime. Say, Oh Lord, oh Lord, today, today, I release the blessing. I release your blessing on my sister, on my sister, on my brother, on my brother. I bring the cash. I bring the cash. And I give her a release. And I give him the release. Can you begin to pray? Lift your hands. <laughs> Give <laughs> Ah! 
Lift up prayer, lift up prayer. In the name of oh, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Lift your hands up for me. To me, I was so. May I say, To me, I will be. And the money of Medina. Walk to pay more case. On the other hand, oh, here you are highly lifted up. There is no God like you. are lifted and lose the glory the presence ah. if you can pray in the spirit begin to pray in the holy ghost lift your voice and give him the glory can i hear your voice everybody worship in there. So carry your palms. It's a sign of carrying your miracle home. You will no more be disadvantaged. The Lord said, Tell them goodness and mercy shall follow them all the days of their lives, and they will dwell in the house of the Lord. Ah. and I said if you are here or you know anybody whose pregnancy is gone past nine months and mama came here you said her pregnancy is 14 months yeah 14 months in the UK do you believe God can visit the system yes sir 14 months that's five more years added to it five more months rather added to it 
Uh, where is UK? Okay, Obi Ampejani, lift your hands up like this. Yes. Okay. What's the name? Sorry? Pauline. Pauline. Can we agree? We speak to the baby. You can't continue to punish your mother. Therefore, we command you, Pauline, in the name of Jesus, your baby should be born in the next seven days. Your baby should be born in the next seven days. Every evil hand placed on the baby will break it. And I prophesy that the anointing of the Holy Ghost is moving on Pauline's womb now. And we declare the case revoked right now. Anybody who has ever said she will never deliver, we command the words to be broken now. Break! Can you clap for that? Call Pauline and tell her your pastor has prophesied that within seven days a miracle will happen. So you are telling her to be expectant as we agree with her in the spirit. We'll be waiting for the testimony, okay? God bless you. Let's clap for the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. How are you? Yeah, when I came the last time, I prayed for you, right? Yeah, I remember your face. Come, come here. How many of you like me? Hallelujah. Open my smile, baby. Let me do this thing before I come to our brother. Um, Pacho, can I have your attention here? Anybody who sees death around you, death. Most often you dream seeing dead people in the family. Sometimes you see yourself laid in state and people are filing past your corpse. Hmm? Death pass. You smell it. You see it all the time. Sometimes you, sometimes you are there and you feel like I'm dead. You are like, I will die. You are like, I will be buried. You are not coming to prosper because you have been freed to prosper. So death should stay out. So lift your hands up for me, those people, whatever you are. Okay, you can come forward. Yeah, I think it. Don't feel shy. I mean, this is a spiritual hospital, please. Come forward, come forward. And lift your hands up for me. Lift your hands up for me. Holy Ghost, spirit of death. Spirit of death. Spirit of death. You see why we need prophets? All these precious people are sitting down with all these attacks on them. See? Very pretty people, but the enemy wants to take their lives. The devil is a joke. Lift your hands up for me. Did you come with your seat? Have you come forward? Okay. After service, you see me. Lift, lift, lift your hands up for me. Father, we declare that you lift your hands up. We declare our everlasting love. Come on, Father, we declare. Father, we declare that we love. We declare. the glory on you come on up I release the glory on you I release the anointing on you I break the curse of death premature death accidental death in the name of Jesus break uh, stand behind this woman 
I just saw it like it will happen yesterday. Satan, take your filthy hands off and now break. And I cover you in Jesus' name. Amen. Settled. Go and sit down. It's settled, okay? Let's clap for the Lord. God oh, bless you. Lord, we declare. Unbelievers could have different opinions to this because God is not their prime focus. But we, the children of God, He prospers us number one because of the kingdom. Number two, so we can become philanthropists and help the least privileged and you know the needy. Because He that lends to the poor, the Bible says that gives it to God. Then thirdly, He blesses us because we have to take care of our families. And our own needs because the Christian who cannot take care of his family is worse than an infidel. That's what the Bible says. But the main reason why God blesses his children is because of the kingdom. Now get it. Heaven doesn't need the dollars. We rather need it here. But God would want to see people who are trustworthy and dependable. That when he gives it to them, they will think first about the kingdom. Am I talking? Yes. Hello, am I talking? Yes. I don't know you, but I feel there's a remedy of seeker, you know, financial remedy that you have to enter. But God has entrusted you with some level B and you are holding it. And if you can open, some serious openings will come. Otherwise, the little God has begun to win, you could even lose it. I know you are a very mature person and you are since you are a deacon, you understand spiritual things. I don't want to press too much into it, but I feel you have to do something for the ministry. After church, come and see me in the office. There are things I can't say here since you are a deacon. We have to protect the work. But there's something I have to tell you. You have to do something, B. You have to do something. There's a word in my spirit for you. Uh, it's not all the prophecies that will be like you will succeed, you'll break through, you will trick her. Um, a word can come to correct because all scriptures are inspired sometimes for correction for reproof you know, you know so sometimes god can come and you know advise and admonish and talk to us and i know the king knows what i'm talking about so after church please see me okay god bless you sit down let's clap for jesus she's the one i'm going to pray for her come in. Um, if you are sick in any part of your body, no. lay your hands on that place for me. Um, on Sunday evening, I'm here on Sunday evening, right? Sunday evening is purely miracle and healing service. I'm not just a prophet. One of my strengths is healing. I see blind, see deaf, cripples. It's, it's, it's one of my anointings. Wave your hands at me here. Hallelujah. And Sunday evening is going to be purely healing service. Purely healing service. And if you are sick in any part of your body, Sunday I'm going to transfer. But now I'm led to pray. Put your hand on anywhere you are aching. Strike the keyboard for me. Oh, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. 
receive your healing I curse every problem diabetes glaucoma cancer high blood pressure in the name of Jesus it's cursed and you are healed in Jesus name Amen can we clap for Jesus church? finally finally all the men please stand up and stretch your right hands towards me I want to give you money because being a man without cash Charlie is not good it's like it's like you've dressed and you are not wearing any undies a man without money you are not secured at all so stretch your hands father let our men be serious financial tycoons money magnets gandelolo shita Corinthians says that we look like poor people yet we make many rich so we have what it takes to make you rich huh. we have prayed for people who have become serious shakes thank us I lose that oil on this house and pray that the men in this house will control wealth so that they will become kingdom financiers I command the heavens to open on you and I prophesy that none of our men will see lack and poverty. Every spell of poverty against you break. And I introduce you to the realms of wealth. Receive it. I said receive it. The realms where when you are asleep your money is working. Nego bagadali dada badagadagas Mangro she pataka Rodododoboko shate kapaka Ah 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 Mantaka baheboko shatalia Somebody is owning an airline company Oil barons I release that grace on some people here Holy Ghost Give it to them now come on Take it There's a footballer here. I see cameras all over the world after you. Receive it.